right. And I got another. Let's see what this is. This might be an eBay. What is it? Could it be? An alien watch? Let's see what I can find out. We have to go now, E.T. We're so late already. <coughs> <laughs> we have to go home now, E.T. Mm -hmm. You should give him some time. Amen. All right. So this is a schema model 1013 1035 i guess the difference is uh the colors the straps uh the different face there's several different versions of this um and and i'll kind of put some different ones there while i'm talking um you can get them with different faces uh different crystals i guess you'd say and yes that is a crystal um it's it's actually a pretty cool watch um i don't know that it's something that i would necessarily want to wear on a regular basis um the quality of this watch is is actually quite good. I mean, Schema has actually been producing a lot of decent quality watches, right? Like I've said before, I believe they are the Timex of, of China. Um, and that is a compliment because Timex makes really good quality and expensive watches. Uh, their, their their watches are, are, are definitely much better than, than something that you would just necessarily buy at Walmart other than, you know, or Target, other than actually a, uh, a Timex. Like this one, the links are actually solid links. So very impressed. It, it has a, a decent uh, clasp. You know, it feels a little janky. It, it still is, but these are solid links. It's not stamped and rolled. Um, this has some real weight to it. And I'll go over that in a couple minutes. Um, now what this is, they call it a binary watch. Now it's not binary. There's no ones and zeros. Um, it literally just uses a series of lights to display what the time is. So right now, this is four o'clock and, and I think that has the seconds or we actually have a chart. So, yep. So this is four minutes. Uh, so, okay. It's, it's four o'clock and two minutes. So when the time goes on, the center is the minutes uh, to, to 10. And the one on the right is the minutes to 60. So when it gets to 60, it'll sit there until it actually gets to 60. It'll say 60 until it actually gets to 60. And then it will change here for the number of hours. So now it should say, yep. So now it's, it's, it's 4.03. That's the time here. And it is at 12 hours, so it is uh, meaning afternoon. So it is 4.03 p.m. So pretty interesting. And I will put a description up here. I'll show the different um, instructions on, on how to set it. Uh, just so you can see, there's two modes. Uh, I'm sorry, there's two buttons. There's the mode button, which is at the top top right and that is the one that actually makes it work then there is the set button and you would have to just hold it down uh, and uh, then you can change and cycle through and use the mode thing but I, I will put all that information there on the right so you can kind of see it for anybody ha that has one and doesn't have the manual now interestingly enough this watch was made by a uh, schema and um, you know it again it's it's a decent quality watch I'm, I'm quite impressed with it uh, quite frankly but it really doesn't, um, it didn't seem to do so well. I like, I don't know. I don't know a lot of people that would necessarily want to wear a watch that looked like this on their wrist. It's a little interesting, right? It's it's not something you would normally wear. So you don't even really see them anymore. Like it's hard to find an AliExpress. I mean, not only do you not even know how to search for it, but there's only a couple um, uh, vendors that are actually still selling it and Schema is not one of them. So I thought that was interesting. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get right into the weight because I want you to kind of see what this feels like because it is it is heavy. It's uh, I, like I'm I'm impressed. 
with the weight. Not that weight necessarily means better, but it certainly does give it some emphasis. So it is 143 grams. Um, remember, that's that's bigger than some of these other watches that I've had, and I'll do the measurements for it right now as well. It is sort of a tank style watch, so let's see if I can see much. 31, and lug, I, I don't even know why I'm bothering because you wouldn't replace this. It's 11, and the depth is quite thick, so 15. Lug to lug is going to be 40. 40.5. There is no loom, obviously, because, you know, you hit the button. <laughs> but, and there you can see the, the time has changed again. Now it's 4.05. So it takes some getting used to, but it is a fun watch, and I think it's quite cool. Um, I find it very interesting. So maybe I'll give it away. I'll give it to my daughter, which, by the way, she's the one that, uh, <laughs> that did the... Uh, the alien, alien word in my little intro there. So, hope you enjoyed that. So this watch is in fact a 5 ATM, which is pretty impressive. And again, it speaks to the quality of the Scheme watches. Uh, because even though it is a cheap watch, right? It, it's 5 ATM is not that easy to to uh, come about you know you gotta you gotta put in gaskets into the pushers and, and all that so this is this is quite decent um, you could you could shower with this I would feel comfortable showering with this I don't know that I'd want to swim with it but I think if you jumped in the pool with it um, that would be okay generally I feel more comfortable with a hundred meter watch for swimming but uh, this one says you can do it but I don't know that I would all right please like and subscribe thank you